morning, Destiny Church. Oh, good morning, Destiny Church. Y'all excited to give God praise this morning? Are we excited to give God praise this morning? The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So you have to ask yourself a question. You have to ask, are you breathing? Do your lungs work? If your lungs work, you are breathing. We give God a shout of praise. Anybody know that he is the Lord God Almighty? And as his creation, as his nation, and this generation is supposed to give him praises. Somebody stand to your feet and praise God and give him the praise and the worship and the glory that he's due. Hallelujah. Let's go. In everything you do, yes, you are. The angels declare, and no one else compares to you. Hallelujah! He says, He's standing all the glory. There's no other God. Hey, and here in your presence, we are for you. Every nation, every nation, generation. Let the people, all your children, lift your voices, give your praises. You are the Lord God. You are the Lord God Almighty. You're perfect in everything you do. The angels declare you are holy. And no one else compares to you. We stand in all of your glory. There is no other God like you, and here in your presence we offer you what we will create. Every creation, every nation, generation, give the praises. Let your people, all your children, lift your voices, give the praise. Hey, let creation, every nation, generation, give the praises. Let your people, all your children, lift your voice and give the praises. Let our creation sing. Let our creation sing your praise. And all the people shout your name. We lift our hands up to the sky. We lift your feet again. Let our creation sing. Let our creation sing your praise. And all the people shout your name. We lift our hands up to the sky. We lift up every nation, every nation, generation. Give the praises. Let your people, all your children, lift your voices. Give the praises. Give the praises. Give the praises. We lift to Jesus. We glorify him. Give the praises. Give the praises. Hallelujah. We worship you. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Anybody know he's high and lifted up? I'll say, tell somebody that he is high and lifted up. Say, my God is high and lifted up. Hallelujah. Lord of Lords, we pray. 
I want y'all to sing around with us. Sing along with us, all right? All right, here it goes. It goes like this. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Say. Everybody lift him. Hey, here we go. Everybody lift him. Sing, everybody. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Sing it again. Everybody lift him. Hey. Everybody lift him. Everybody lift him. Tell him how good he is. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Say. Everybody praise him. Hey. Everybody praise That's him. That's right, she got it. Everybody praise him. Everybody sing it again. Him. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Say. greatly to be praised. And because of that, we will never be defeated. Y'all believe that? Hallelujah. 
Can we sing? We will never be defeated. Sing. I shall rise. I shall be. I shall go in victory. No weapon for against me. They will not overtake me. Sing, I shall rise. I shall rise. I shall be. I shall go in victory. No weapon form. Against me, it will not overtake me. Why? And because God is the greatest power, is the greatest power. We shall never, we shall never. Oh no, no, no. And because God is the greatest, because God is the greatest power. We shall never, we shall never, never be defeated. I shall rise. I shall rise. I shall be. I shall go in victory. No weapon form. Y'all believe no weapon form is gonna prosper? If you're not, overtake me. Oh, can we lift our voice? Say, because God and me is the greatest power. We shall never know, no, no, no. Because God is the greatest power. We shall never know, no, no, no. no, no. Sing it again, because God is the greatest power. We shall never know. Be defeated. Hey, because God is the greatest. We shall never. Oh no no. Y'all know this right here. It says. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. Devil is alive, God is exalted. We shall never be defeated. No, no. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. We shall never know. Never be defeated. Here we go, sing it. The devil is alive. The devil is a liar. Hey. God is exalted. Hey, never be defeated. Hey, sing it. Never be defeated. Never is a lie. Say, devil is a liar. God is exalted. Hey, never be defeated. 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 Never be, never be defeated, never be defeated, sing. Never be defeated, say. Never be defeated, hey, sing it again. Never be, believe it for yourself, never be. Never be defeated, hey, sing it. Never be defeated, never be defeated, hey. Never be defeated. Why? And because it's the greatest power. We shall never, never be defeated. It's the God. It's the greatest power. We shall never know. No, no. 
Because God. And because God is the greatest, is the greatest power, we shall never know. We shall never know. Be defeated. Be defeated. Because God. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never. We shall never. Sing it again. Because God imparts it because. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God the glory on this morning. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Come on, if you know that you will never be defeated. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is the greatest power. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on, somebody shout the name of Jesus on this morning. Come on, somebody shout the name of Jesus. The name that is above all names. Somebody give him glory right now. The Bible said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Greet, greet each and every one of you that are watching online on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you on this morning. We're excited to be here in the house of the Lord. Come on, look at your neighbor right now. Tell him I would never be defeated. Why? Because God is the greatest power. Hallelujah. We shall never, never be defeated. No matter what you're up against, no matter what you're dealing with in life, know that God is on the throne of this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you're watching online right now, type that right now. God is on the throne. And because God is on the throne, we shall never, ever be defeated. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to prophesy over your own life and declare I shall win I shall come out victorious because God is on my side come on let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise hallelujah in his house glory to God the Bible said let everything praise him everything that have breast praise ye the Lord hallelujah how many came to praise him on this morning how many came to magnify him how many came to glorify him we shall never be defeated because God is on the throne. The Bible said, if God be for you, who can be against you? That means no matter what obstacle comes your way, you got a God that's bigger than your trouble. You got a God that's bigger than your circumstance. You got a God that's bigger than your problem. You got a God that's bigger than anything that will come against you in life. And that's why you can declare that you will never be defeated because our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for our sins. And the Bible said on the third day, he rose with all power in his hands. Hallelujah. Somebody thank God right now that he's got all power in his hands, not just some power, but our Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. He has all power in his hand. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise one more time. We're so excited for what the Lord is doing in this hour and in this season. And we have to continue to declare that the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. The Apostle Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind and pressing forward to what is ahead. You got to leave the old behind and press forward to what God has for you now. And for those that's watching online, know that God has some great things in store for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise one more time. We thank God for our praise and worship team. They're going to sing another selection and take us into the presence of God. And then we're going to go into the word of God on this morning. Hallelujah. Can we sing one more song? Can we sing about how great he is, how he is greater, he is stronger, he is more powerful, higher than any other, and that we just serve a great God. The lyrics say, water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Anybody believe there's no one like our God? Oh, y'all believe that? Hey. Can we just sing?
sing about how great our God is. Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. Sing. Open the eyes of the blind. Don't like you, Jesus. Don't like you. Yeah, yeah. Don't like you. Into the darkness you shine, oh. Out of the ashes we rise. No one like you. Not like you, she is a soul. Hey, our God is greater. Our God is yes, he is. God, you are higher than any other. Yes, you are awesome in the power of Jesus. Hey, sing it again. Our God is greater, He's stronger, higher than any other. Our God is awesome in power. Hey, if my God is for us. And if our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what we say And if our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what we say And if our God is who can never stop us? Hey! What can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? What can stand again? What can stand again? Yeah. We worship you, Jesus. See this song right here. We're going to sing. There's no one like Jehovah. 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 There's no one like sing. Let's go. There's no one like Jehovah. 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 Sing. There's no one like Jehovah. 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 Sing it again. There's no one like Jehovah. Say. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, sing how great, how great is our God? He are singing. How great, sing. Hey. Is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, see how great, how great is our God. To the name of our name, to the name of our name, you are worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. Above all names, you're the name of all names. You are worthy of all praise, and my heart will sing how great is our God. Who see this last part? It says, He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hey, He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Sing, he really is the great God. He really is the great God. Hey, he really is the great God. He really is the great God. Everybody say, he really is the great God. He really is the great God. Hey, he really is the great God. He really is the great God. He really is the 
the great God. He really is the great God. He really is the great God. He really is. How great? How great is our God? Is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? All will sing. How great? How great? How great? How great. Hey, how great. just sing how great. 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 Yeah. Yeah. How great. How great. How great. It's to our God, every word of worship is one accord. Every praise, 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 every praise. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, how great, how is our God, is hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, how great is our God. Our God is mighty. Our God is awesome. Our God is omnipotent. How great is our God. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and of earth. How great is our God, the creator and the sustainer of the universe. How great is our God. Hallelujah. He's great. How many know the Lord is greatly to be praised? Come on, give him glory on this morning. Come on, get excited for the Lord on this morning. Come on, let's live here a roar in this place for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How great is our God. The song said, he really is a great God. He really is a great God. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Point to your neighbor and tell him. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Look at somebody else. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Find somebody else. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Come on, find somebody else. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. If you know that for yourself, he really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. Hallelujah. He really is a great God. He really is a great God. How many know that on this morning? Hallelujah. He is a great and mighty and all powerful God. Hallelujah. Who has brought you through every situation in life. He really is a great God. One more time, let's give a hand clap of praise for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So good to see each and every one of you in the house of the Lord on this morning. We are certainly excited uh, to be here on today. Hallelujah. The psalmist David said, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. He said, this poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all of his fears. Anybody ever cried out to the Lord? Hallelujah. When you didn't know what to do and when you didn't know which way to turn, when you cried out to God, he delivered you and brought you out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. David said, this Lord brought me out of the mire and the murk. Anybody ever been brought out of the mire and the murk? Amen. We serve a great and awesome God on today amen hallelujah excited to be in the house of the lord amen we're going to be in the book of isaiah chapter 40 on this morning and we're going to have a word of prayer uh before we begin isaiah chapter 40 
Amen. I'm going to read verses 28 through 31, and we're going to pray right now to ask God's blessing to be upon uh, this service and then this message on today. Let's go before the Lord right now. Spirit of the living God, Lord, we thank you right now, Lord, on this morning, oh God. We understand, Father God, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Lord. We just pray right now, Father God, that you just empower us with the word of God on today, Lord. Remove any distraction, Lord, that will hinder us, Lord, Father God for being empowered through everything that you have to say, Lord. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord. Allow your presence to overwhelm us on today. Lord, all of you and none of us, we thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in advance through the preach word. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to be in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. I'll be reading from the New King James Version, Isaiah chapter 40, amen, verse 28 through 31, amen, verse 28 through 31, hallelujah, from the New King James Version, if you're in the sanctuary, if you need a Bible, raise your hands, amen, hallelujah, also if you're in the sanctuary, if you need a fan, raise your hand, I know it's a little warm on today, amen, right here up front, we get some fans, we have some fans in the back, Amen. Just raise your hands right now if you need one. Hallelujah. If you need a fan, just raise your hand high. I think one of our sisters at the front here, Sister Darylin, yeah, let's make sure to get a fan. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's going to be a heat wave on next week, so be prepared. Amen. Make sure you stay cool. Make sure you stay hydrated. Amen. It's going to be in the hundreds on next week. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 20 through 31. Read it from the New King James Version, and it reads, it says, Have you not known... Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? His understanding is unsearchable. Verse 29 said he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Verse 30 said even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. Verse 31 says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Begin of verse 31 says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. The message on this morning is wait on God. Wait on God. Come on, somebody turn to your neighbor and tell them wait on God. If you're watching online right now, tell you to yourself, say, wait on God. Somebody say, wait on God. You may have your seats in the very presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. For all those that are watching online, whether it be YouTube or Facebook, God bless you on today. Make sure you share our page. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, MB Destiny Church Live. Make sure you get involved in the service. Comment, like, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ by sharing this broadcast. Amen. Uh, we greet each and every one of you on this morning, whether you're in the house of the Lord physically or watching online. Hallelujah. We're all in fellowship on today. Amen. Somebody say, wait on God. How many know that we have to make sure that we don't make a move too quickly and make sure that we don't rush things? Hallelujah. Because many times when we rush things, we place ourselves in bad situations. Hallelujah. And we have to learn to wait on God. Because when we become desperate, when we become impatient, when we become discouraged, we tend to not wait on God. And then many times we try to take matters into our own hands. And how many know that can be dangerous? Because when we take matters into our own hands, we don't wait on God. We start getting out of position. Many times we can miss what God has in store for us and even abort the blessings that he had for us. Amen. So we have to learn that waiting on God is a spiritual discipline that we all have to learn. James chapter one and verse four says, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And so patience does a work in us so we can become mature in God. And so that we don't become like little kids kicking on the floor when we don't get something right away. And we start learning to wait on God because the enemy is very crafty 
and frustrating us into making bad decisions from being impatient and not waiting on God. That's how we end up with the wrong job. That's why, how we end up with the wrong assignment. That's how we end up in the wrong neighborhood. That's how we end up with the wrong car. That's how we end up with the wrong spouse. That's how we end up in the wrong career because we don't learn to wait on God. And what we thought was supposed to be a miracle can end up being your misery when we don't learn how to wait on God. Amen. And so in Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 40, amen, we're going to see that the prophet is going to shift from a message of disaster to the children of Israel and to a message of hope and comfort. And so when we pick it up in Isaiah chapter 40, in the previous chapters, he dealt with a lot of disaster and destruction because of their sins and because they had rebelled against God. And so here in chapter 40, he starts off now picking it up with a message of comfort and hope started in chapter 40. Because the people during Isaiah's time were going through great distress. They were oppressed by the Assyrian army and they were going through a lot of pain and suffering. And so the people at this time, during the time of Isaiah, the children of Israel, they were ready to give up hope. And because they had become tired and weary, thinking God had abandoned them. But how many know this morning that our situations sometimes can make us feel like God is not there? But the Bible says that God will never leave us nor forsake us. Because what you feel sometimes is not always true. Just like you, just because you feel that God is not near doesn't mean that's true. The Bible says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. The Bible says he's a very present help in the time of trouble. How many know that he's an on-time God? Hallelujah, he's an on-time God. He can change our situation anytime he gets ready, but it's all in God's timing, and we have to learn to wait on him. Hallelujah, glory to God. And so many times when we're dealing with struggles, when we're dealing with a crisis, when we're dealing with dilemmas, when we're dealing with sickness, we start to question God whether he's there or not. But it's not the time to question God. It's the time to call on God. Somebody say amen. And so here in Isaiah chapter 40, we're going to pick it up in verse 28. Right here. Hallelujah. So the prophet Isaiah, he reminds Israel of the beauty of God, the majesty of God, and the power of God. Look at what he says because they had almost given up hope at this time. And so he's reminding them about their great God. Verse 28 says, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Somebody say amen. So have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. The Bible says here, he is what? The everlasting what? God. That means that he's the God of eternity. Hallelujah. He's the God without end. He is the God that reigns forever. Somebody say amen. So we have to learn like the children of Israel had to learn our pain and our hurt and our struggles do not limit the power of God. He's still God. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. And so many times when we're going through things in life, it is an opportunity for a God's strength to be made perfect in our weakness. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says he is the what? Everlasting God. We know that great psalmist and, and, and preacher and pastor, uh, William Murphy, hallelujah, has the song called what? Everlasting God. And we sang it here at the church. It said, we set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on you because he's what? The everlasting God. How many know God is the everlasting God on this morning? Hallelujah. God is the everlasting God. And he's the God that's on the throne. No matter what you are going through, God's promises are yes and amen because he is the everlasting God. Somebody say he's the everlasting God. And I want you to know on this morning that the everlasting God will take care of you, will take care of your family, will take care of your marriage, will take care of your health will take care of your finances. Why? Because he's the everlasting God and the everlasting God always work things out. Somebody say amen. Somebody say he's the everlasting God. The Bible says he's the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. How many know that he's the creator? 
God is the one that created the clouds and the mountains and the seas and the oceans and the lands and the animals and the people. How many know the Bible said God knitted us in our mother's wombs and all the days of our lives were ordained before they came to be. There is no Big Bang Theory. There is no magical appearance of the universe. It is the everlasting God, the creator God who created and made everything. Somebody say amen. The Bible said the creator of the ends of the earth. The Bible said in Colossians 1 and 16, all things were created by him and for him. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. And so he's the everlasting God. The Bible says here in verse 28, God neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. God doesn't get faint. He doesn't get here weary like, uh, like humans. The children of Israel at this time, they had gotten faint. They had gotten weary. They had given up thinking that God had forgotten about them. They tried to put God on the same level as them. Somebody say God is not on the same level as us. God doesn't get fatigued. God doesn't get tired. God doesn't need sleep. He just waited for the right time to show up and show out in your life. Somebody say amen. The Bible said God neither faints nor is weary. That means God doesn't get tired. He has plenty of strength. Why? Because he's all powerful and all knowing. God is all seeing. How many know that God does not miss a thing? Somebody say amen on this morning. Glory to God. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, he who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Glory to God. God don't slumber. He don't sleep. Glory to God. He don't need sleep like man or woman needs sleep. Glory to God. God is always watching over us. Somebody say amen. You know what they say about Santa Claus. He know when you are sleeping. That's how God is. God knows when you are sleeping because when you're asleep, God is watching over you. When you get weary, God is protecting you. And when you get faint, God is reviving you. Somebody say amen. God doesn't get faint. He doesn't get weary. He doesn't get tired. God is always present at all times, watching over everything. Somebody say amen. Somebody give God a great big hand clap of praise right now that you serve a God that doesn't get tired, that doesn't get weary, that doesn't get faint. He's an on-time God. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Somebody say amen. Verse 29 said, his understanding is unsearchable. How many know God's understanding is unsearchable? He, you can't search out God's intelligence. You, you can't search out his skill. You can't search out his knowledge nor his wisdom. Hallelujah. It's not up for us to, to understand him. He's unsearchable. Our job is to let God handle it. Somebody say amen. How many know this morning? We don't have to figure it out because God is already working it out. His way, his understanding is unsearchable. Our job is to trust him. Our job is to believe him. Our job is to have faith in a big God. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. His understanding is unsearchable. Hallelujah. You can't search God out. You can't figure him out. The only thing we need to do is let God work it out. Somebody say amen. That's where faith comes in for us. That's where trust comes in for us. That's where believing comes in for us. Hallelujah. We just need to let God handle it. Because if you try to figure it all out, your mind will go haywire. But you got to say, you know what? I'm just going to turn this over to God and I'm going to get me some rest. I'm going to turn this over to God and let God handle it. Somebody say amen. Look at verse 29 on this morning. Look at verse 29. Look at verse 29. Verse 29 says, he gives power to who? The weak. And to those who had no might, he increases strength. Strength. Remember the children of Israel at this time, they've been going through much with the pain, the suffering, being attacked by the Assyrians. So they become weak and tired and weary. But the Bible said in verse 29, he gives power to the weak and those who have no might, he increases strength. So when we get weak, God gives us what? Power. My God, when we get weak, God gives us power. The word power means substance. It means might. It means force. God will give you power 
when you get weak, somebody say amen. When you get weak, God will give you the power to go on in life. Somebody say amen. When you get weak, God will give you the power to get back up again. Somebody say amen. When you get weak, God will empower you to finish what you have started. Somebody say amen. God will empower you to get your life back in order again, to empower you to start back over again. When you get weak and weary, hallelujah, God will show up on the spot. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. How many know God will lift you physically and mentally? Hallelujah. You ever watched a, a, a runner, like a marathon runner? Hallelujah. Running a race, they got to run 26 grueling miles. And many times at the end of the race, you see the runners are so exhausted, so fatigued. And many times they collapse across the finish line. They're breathing heavy. Hallelujah. And you look at them, they're just so fatigued. But when you look at them, they're not dead. They're just fatigued. Somebody say amen. They may look dead, but they're just fatigued. Glory to God. They're exhausted. But once they get some water in their system, once they get some Gatorade in their bodies, they can stand to their feet and run again. And that's what God will do for us when we get weak. God will hit us in the spirit realm with some power. Somebody say amen. Many of us just need some Gatorade in the spirit. Somebody say amen on this morning. Glory to God. God will hit us with some Gatorade in the spirit. He'll hit us with some spiritual electrolytes. He'll hit your faith with it. He'll hit your mind with it. He'll hit your spirit with it. And when you become weak, God said, I'm going to give you some power. Somebody say amen. God said, you ain't dead. You just for tired and weak weary and fatigued, but I'm about to give you some power in your life. Somebody say amen. Somebody say power. God will give you power to get back up again. God will give you power to move on in life. God will give you power to overcome that obstacle. Somebody say amen. He'll give you power. Somebody say I need that Gatorade in the spirit. Just like the marathon runner fatigued tired and weary. Sometimes they collapse when they cross the finish line. They're not dead. They're just fatigued. Somebody say amen. And God's got a word for somebody on this morning that you're not dead. You're not down and out. You're just fatigued. And all you need is some Gatorade in the spirit. You just need some of my power in your life. Somebody say amen. God will give you that power. He gives power to who? The weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. God said those who, who, who have become weak and have no might, he'll, he'll give you power and increase your strength. God will give you power, ability. He'll increase, increase your strength. God will make you powerful again. Somebody say amen. He'll multiply you again. The Bible says he increases strength. This is what God will do. Anybody ever been to the gym? Anybody ever work out? Hallelujah. I'll go to the gym sometime. And many of you go to the gym. And that's what God will do. He'll put you in that spiritual weight room. Somebody say amen. When you become weak, when you have no might, God said he'll give you power and increase your strength. He'll put you in that spiritual weight room and build your faith and build your mind and build your trust and build your obedience and strengthen your hope. God will put you in that spiritual weight room and bring you back up. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. God will give us power and he will increase our strength. But look at verse 30. Look at verse 30 on this morning. It says, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. The Bible says that even the young get weary and tired and fatigued, even though they're young and they're strong and they're powerful. He said even the young can get weary and tired and fatigued. Even the, in, even the energizer bunny can only last so long. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. He said even, even the young men shall utterly fall. But see, here's the thing. He says here the youth faint and get weary, the young men utterly fall. Because here's the thing. God created us to depend on him. So when we get tired, when we get exhausted, when we get fatigued, when we get weary, we need to be replenished by an almighty God. Somebody say amen. 
Because the same God who sustains the universe is the same God that will uphold and support his weary people. So when you get fatigued, tired, and exhausted, it's not the time to throw in the towel. It's not the time to give up. It's the time to reach for some power. It's time for God to give you some more strength so you can go on in the race. Somebody say amen. And just like the marathon runner, when they collapse across the finish line, they're not dead. They're just fatigued. And once they get that Gatorade in their system, they can get up and run another race. Somebody say amen. And that's what God wants to do in this hour, this season. God wants to hit you with some power so you can get back on the race again. Somebody say amen. So you can carry out your assignment. So you can carry out your purpose. So you can witness to your family. So you can do your assignment. Somebody give God the glory. Hallelujah. The Bible says even the youth and the young men get faint and weary. But that's where God comes in to strengthen us. But look at verse 31. Look at verse 31 here. Look at the last verse here. It says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. He talked about those getting weak, those who have no might, those who getting faint and weary. But verse 31 said, but those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. The key there is that word but, because that word but is going to cancel out what he said before when he said, but those who wait. He said those that get faint, weary, and fatigue. So those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. The word but is what a conjunction. Now, before I went to Bible college, I learned what a conjunction was by watching Schoolhouse Rock in the 70s and early 80s. Somebody say, man, anybody know that old school? Anybody ever seen Schoolhouse Rock where the man used to come on the cartoon and say, conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Now, that's back in the 70s. That's how I learned, first of all, what a conjunction was. So a conjunction hooks up words and phrases and clauses. So that's what a con but is a conjunction. So the word but here cancels out what was said before. Even though we might faint, even though we might fall, even though we might get weary, even though we might get tired, God promises is that those who wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Somebody say amen. That word wait there means to look for it, to hope, to expect God to show up. Somebody say amen. So those that wait on the Lord, those who stay in place until God shows up, those who don't make a decision until God shows up, those who don't step out until God speaks, somebody say amen. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. No matter how tired you get, no matter how frustrated you get, no matter how discouraged you get, no matter how weary and exhausted you get, you got to say to yourself, I'm going to wait on the Lord. Somebody say amen. The devil, you are a liar. You're not going to frustrate me in the making a bad decision. I'm going to wait on God. Somebody say amen. And you got to say to yourself, I don't want nothing that the devil is offering. I'm going to wait on God. Somebody say amen. I'm going to wait on God for the apartment. I'm going to wait on God for the house. I'm going to wait on God for the move. I'm going to wait on God for the job. I'm going to wait on God for the promotion. I'm going to wait on God for the car. I'm going to wait on God for the spouse. I'm going to wait on God for the ministry. I'm going to wait on God. Somebody say amen. You got to say to yourself, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to throw in the tower. I'm going to stay on my face, and I'm going to wait on God. Somebody say amen. Because it says, if I wait on God, he's going to renew my strength. Somebody say amen. How many need some renewed strength on this morning? Because when you get tired, which we all do, when you get weary, which we all do, when you get fatigued, which we all do, we're going to need some renewed strength. Somebody say amen. How many know sometimes our strength is outdated? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Many of you in here this morning, you know you got a driver's license. Hallelujah. And the driver's license you had in 1995 ain't good enough for 2021. Why? That means you need to renew your driver's license because it's outdated. Somebody say amen. Your registration is from year to year. You can't get a registration in 2010 and it still be valid in 2021. You need that registration renewed. Somebody say amen. And many times you on a job where your certification that you 
got 10 years ago, it's not valid now. You got to up that certification every year, every two years, every five years. And that's what happens in the spirit realm. Many times the strength we've been running on has been outdated. Somebody say amen. But those that wait upon the Lord, God shall renew our strength. Somebody say amen. Because when you go to a different level, that's going to be different devils. And you need some renewed strength to be able to come against the enemy. Somebody say amen. We got to stop running on that outdated strength from 1995 and 2010 and 2015. That strength is depleted. You need some renewed strength. Somebody say amen. You need an update. Somebody say you need an update. Just like a computer need an update on this software. Many times our strength is outdated and God says I'm going to give you some renewed strength. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout right now that God is giving you renewed strength. Somebody say Lord renew my strength. Renew my strength. Renew my strength. Glory to God. God will give you a 2021 renewed strength to fight every devil, to overcome every obstacle, to prophesy over your life, to fight lions and tigers and bears. And oh my, you can declare in 2021, God is giving me renewed strength and that no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Hallelujah. God is giving me renewed strength. Somebody say amen. And when God gives you the renewed strength, get back up again. Build your family again. Rejoice again. Carry out your purpose again. Somebody say amen. God's going to restore you. God's going to rebuild you. God's going to revive you. God is giving you renewed strength. Somebody shout right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say wait on him. Wait on him. Keep fighting in 2021. You're going to come out on top with renewed strength. Hallelujah. Renewed strength. How many know that's what we need to keep on fighting? It's renewed strength. Hallelujah. You still on your assignment. God still called you. You just need some renewed strength to keep going on. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Samson in the Bible lost his strength. Messing around with Delilah. He told Delilah his secret and he lost all of his strength. He was the most, the strongest man ever. And he lost his strength because they cut his hair because he told his secret. And when he tried to break free from the Philistines, he couldn't because he had no strength. And they took him and gauged his eyes out. But the Bible said when they took him and gauged his eyes out, even though he lost his strength, the Bible said his hair started growing back. His hair started growing back. And when his hair started growing back, Samson started regaining his strength. Hallelujah. I prophesy right now that you are about to regain some strength just like like Samson, and you gonna get your joy back. You gonna get your peace back. You gonna get your passion back. You gonna get your influence back. Cause God is renewing your strength. Somebody declare right now. My hair is growing back like Samson. I'm about to get some renewed strength. Somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Renewed strength. Glory to God. Renewed strength. Somebody say, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew that strength. God will update you for some strength for 2021 devils. Hallelujah. Sometimes we still running on 2010. Oh Lord, you don't went to a whole nother level. You got some different demons chasing. You need renewed strength. Glory to God. Sometimes that old strength is depleted and we need some renewed strength. But God will renew your strength. Somebody said, God is renewing my strength because I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to seek the face of God. I'm going to pray. I'm going to read my word and I'm going to fast and I'm going to bleed God for some renewed strength and I'm going to keep running this race that he called me to. Somebody say amen. Now look, as we're closing out, let's look at the second part of verse 31. Look at this. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Look at this. It says, they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Said so those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Once you get that renewed strength, then it's time to mount up. Come on, somebody. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. The word mount up there means to go up, to ascend. He said you are mount up with wings like eagles. Now, look at this right here. Wings like eagles. Eagles are fierce. They even protect their eaglets 
from being carried away by predators. So eagles are very fierce and they're really known for their strength and their courage in dangerous weather. Eagles are fearless because when there's dangerous weather, hallelujah, they will soar high above the clouds through the storm to a place of safety. They don't run from the storm. Eagles run, go through the storm, up above the storm to a place of safety. Somebody say amen. And he said, they shall mount up with wings like eagle. So if you remain faithful, and wait on God. He will take you higher than what you're experiencing right now. Somebody say amen because God will give you the strength to rise above everything you're dealing with right now. Somebody say rise up, rise up, rise up. Hallelujah. God will strengthen you. Hallelujah. To rise above every obstacle, to rise above every problem, to rise above every difficult situation, to rise above everything that comes your way because that they shall mount up with wings like eagles. Somebody say amen. Be patient and wait on God. And at the right time, God will cause you to rise up above it just like the eagle. Somebody say amen. Somebody shout right now. I'm getting ready to soar just like the eagles. Somebody say amen. I feel the Holy Ghost moving right now because somebody is it's getting ready to soar just like the eagles. Give him glory right now. Somebody say, I'm about to soar. Hallelujah. I'm about to soar above my hardship. I'm about to soar above my pain. I'm about to soar above my hurt. I'm about to soar above my mess. Somebody say, I'm about to soar. Hallelujah. Because when you mount up with wings like eagles, God's going to cause you to soar above your sickness, above your mistakes, above your struggles. Tell somebody, I'm going to a higher place in God. God has caused me to mount up with wings like eagles. Somebody say amen. Don't shout too hard right now, but God is telling somebody, just like the eagle, you've been cleared for takeoff. Hallelujah. For takeoff. Somebody declare it right now. You've been cleared for takeoff. The runway is being clear. The air traffic and clothes are working out things. You're being clear for takeoff. Just like the eagle. Somebody said I'm being clear for takeoff. I'm getting ready to soar in 2021. And when I soar and take off, I'm saying goodbye to depression. Goodbye to bondage. Goodbye to the yokes. Goodbye to the strongholds. Goodbye to addiction. Goodbye to the stress. Goodbye to hopelessness. Because I'm getting ready to take off and soar. Somebody say amen. I've been cleared for takeoff. And I'm getting ready to soar. Somebody say amen. Come on, let's praise him on the day. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Somebody shout right now that you're being cleared for takeoff. Just like the eagle. Hallelujah. All the young people watching online and in the house. Somebody say it like that song. Nothing can stop me now. I'm on my way up. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise above your situation. Rise above your situation. Rise above your circumstance. God is giving you right now wings like eagles to mount up and rise above it. You're getting ready to soar. You're getting ready to run. You're getting ready to walk. Somebody say amen. Somebody said, I'm coming out of my season of fatigueness and weariness and the season of drought and the season of grief and the season of depression. And I'm getting ready to soar. I'm not giving up. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm going to wait on God for renewed strength. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say that right now. I'm soaring above my past. I'm soaring above my financial struggles. I'm born above my damages. I'm soaring above my hurt. I'm soaring above my mistakes. I'm soaring above my wounds. Because they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. You're getting ready to soar. Hallelujah. Come on. Tell somebody. You're getting ready to soar. You're getting ready to go to another level in God. Hallelujah.
Give him a great big hand clap of praise on this morning. If you're getting ready to mount up and soar, I tell you right now to give God a mount up and soar praise. I tell you right now to stand on your feet and say, I'm getting ready to soar. I'm going up. Not only me, my family going up. My business going up. My mind is going up. I'm getting ready to soar like the eagle. I'm going to rise above it all because they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Somebody said, I'm getting ready to soar. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Come on, get your wings ready this morning. There you go, Stephen. Come on, everybody. Get your wings. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to soar. Glory to God. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. We got to learn God's going to strengthen us to rise above it. Rise above the pettiness. Rise above the jealousy. Rise above the past pain. Rise above the grief. Rise above the sickness. Rise above your circumstance. God has given you renewed strength so you can mount up like the eagle and soar high above it. God will give us renewed strength to rise above it with our faith, to rise above it with our prayer life, to rise above it with our fasting life, to rise above it with our serving. He's given us renewed strength. Somebody say, wait on the Lord and he shall renew your strength. One more time, just give the Lord a great big hallelujah praise. For all those that are in the house right now, for those that's watching online, I want you to know that God will strengthen you. He will give you renewed strength for the task. It's not that your assignment is aborted. God said you just need renewed strength. You just need to be empowered. Just like you can't drive off your same driver license for 10 years, you have to give it renewed. My God. Hallelujah. It has to be renewed. The same way in the spirit realm. I strengthen it to be renewed. It's the same way if you stop, you've been lifting weights and you stop going to the gym, you lose that strength that you once had. And so we need to go to the Lord and wait on him. Don't give up, but wait on God. Turn our face to him and he'll renew our strength. If there's somebody right now who's in the house or watching online who have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the only way you can make it in this life, the only way you can go on in this life, the only way that you can have eternal life, the only way you can live the abundant life is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. The only way we can have eternal life is through Jesus Christ. The only way we can make it in this life is through Jesus Christ. The Bible said, what does it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his soul? There's only two places we go when we leave this earth, either heaven or hell. There is no in-between. But one thing is for certain, if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your name will be written in the book of life. If something was to happen to you today, do you know your eternal destination? Would you go on to be with the Lord in heaven? Or would you be eternally separated from him in hell? That choice is up to you. But why don't you make the choice today to try Jesus and make him your Lord and Savior? If you've been running away from God, today is your day. Right now, if there's anybody in the house on today that wants to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, you can raise your hand high. Anyone on today, you want to accept Jesus? Hallelujah. The Bible said, repent each and every one of you and be baptized in the name of the Lord our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. Anyone here today that wants to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, raise your hand. If you're watching online right now and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, 
Repeat after me. Say, Father God, in Jesus' name, I know that I'm a sinner and I'm in need of a Savior. I believe your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for my sins. From this day forward, I surrender my life to you. I repent right now of all of my sins. Thank you, Father, right now for saving me and sending your son to die for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise. If you prayed that prayer online, know that you are born again, believer, you are saved, and now it's time for you to get in a Bible-believing church. If you want to connect with Destiny Church here, hallelujah, definitely email us and let us know about your decision. Hallelujah. Get, get connected. We want to encourage you to get connected to a Bible-based believing church in your local area so you can continue to grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. But if you want to connect with our ministry, you want to be a church member, email us and let us know about your decision. We will welcome you into the family of God. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise one more time. Hallelujah. How many know it's giving time? Hallelujah. It's time for our giving. Praise the Lord. The Bible said God loves a what? A cheerful giver. If you need a tithe and offering envelope, raise your hand real high. Anyone that needs a tithe and offering envelope, hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for each and every one of you, all of our faithful givers each and every week that allows us to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's because of your faithful giving that allows us to carry out the assignment that God has for us here in the city of Moreno Valley and to be able to broadcast everywhere throughout the world. Amen. Amen. And so you can prepare your tithes and offering. You can give by going to our cash app, the money sign, Destiny Church Live. That's cash app, the money sign, Destiny Church Live to be able to give tithes and offering. Amen. A tithe is giving 10% of your income back to the local church to build the kingdom of God. And an offering is giving anything above and above, above and beyond what your tithes are. So giving a tithe is giving 10% of your income and an offer is giving anything above that. And the Bible said, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse and God expects for us to bring our tithes and our offerings. Amen. And so God bless each and every one of you for your faithful giving. The Bible said, give and it shall be given to you. Press down, shake it together and run it over. Hallelujah. And the same way that you give back to God's kingdom, God's going to bless you. The Bible says that he was open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing we won't have room enough to receive. Amen. So let's go ahead and prepare our tithes and offering right now. Let's go ahead and stretch our hands towards it. We're going to pray right now. Hallelujah. If you're watching online, you can give by going to uh, the Cash App Money Sign Destiny Church Live. Let's pray right now. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for these tithes and offering right now. As we lift them up before you right now, we pray that you would bless this ministry, our community, and the kingdom of God abroad. Lord, we pray right now that you would bless every giver right now. Bless them, Lord, 100-fold so they can have more seed to sow into the kingdom of God. Lord, meet every one of their needs right now. According to your word, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this house. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get now into the hand of our ushers. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good. Praise the Lord. Amen. God, let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise one more time. Hallelujah. A couple of announcements before we dismiss. How we thank God for our dear sister Rita Copeland. God bless your sister Rita on this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Copeland family. And sister Rita has given us also the um, funeral arrangement for her nephew, Chris, who passed away recently. Our prayers are certainly continuing with the family. Hallelujah with Sister Rita and the Copeland family. And we're going to be having the funeral service for her nephew, uh, LaCris Copeland. It's going to be in the city of Long Beach. Amen. The city of Long Beach. The funeral is going to be Saturday, June 19th. Hallelujah. That's this week coming up. Saturday, June 19th, 2021. It's going to be at McKenzie Mortuary. And the address is 3843 East Anaheim Street, 
Long Beach, California. The zip code is 90804, and that would be for the funeral service. Hallelujah for LaCris Bernard Copeland, the nephew of our dear sister Rita Copeland here. She's in the sanctuary right now. God bless you, Sister Rita. Our sincere condolences continually still for you and your family. We want to continue to reach out to them and love on them. And so the viewing of the body will be June 18th, that next Friday, June 18th, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at McKenzie Mortuary at 3843 East Anaheim Street in the city of Long Beach, the same address. And so we'll make sure we get the address out to everybody this week, too, as well. Hallelujah. For those that may want to send flowers or cards, amen. You can contact the funeral home. So we'll get that information out to everyone this week, too, as well. But the funeral will be next Saturday, June 19th. Hallelujah. At 11 a.m. at McKenzie Mortuary in the city of Long Beach. And I will be doing the eulogy uh, for LaCris. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap and pray once again. We thank God for Sister Rita and her beautiful family. Hallelujah. And we sincerely pray for each and every one of you. Also, too, as well, remember we have Father's Day coming up next Sunday. Come on, let's give it up for all the fathers. Praise God. We thank God for all of our fathers. So we want to honor our fathers on next week hallelujah just like we did for mother's day we thank god for our fathers on next week june 20th we want to have an exciting time in the lord raise the praise and honor hallelujah the men of god amen amen let's give it up for all the fathers in the house and the fathers who are not here we have some of our fathers that are on the road brother bacon hallelujah drives trucks he's on the road a lot continue to pray for him amen brother eugene is not here today him and his lovely wife sister Sherilyn, are out of town so be praying for them for safe traveling grace and they'll be back on this week let's continue to pray for brother david brother richard and all the men of god brother dwight amen we thank god for sustaining each and every one of us during this time and during this pandemic amen i thank god for each and every one of you good to see all your lovely faces on today amen let's go ahead and stand to be dismissed at this time god bless you all amen i pray that each and every one of you enjoy the rest of your sunday afternoon and evening we just thank God, and we're on a sabbatical from Bible study and um, corporate prayer on this month. But we will be back on both of those in the month of July. Amen. So we we honoring this month as family month here at Destiny Church. Hallelujah. And we're doing Sunday services, but we will be back on for corporate prayer and Bible study in the month of July. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to pray over you right now. Remember, we do have beverages and snacks in the back of the church after service for you to partake. Let's go ahead and pray out right now and be dismissed. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you right now, Father God, for what has taken place on the day, Lord, through the praise and worship and the preach word. Lord, continue, Father God, to place upon our spirit to wait upon you. Lord, I pray that each and every person on today, Lord, that you renew their strength so they can minor like eagles and be able to soar above every situation in life. Now, Lord, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide now here with and forevermore, Lord. May your peace and your joy fill us, Lord. And we thank you on today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are now dismissed. God bless each and every one of you on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.